Oh, of course it got another fleet. How are we going to break that formation? Yay. My analysis is almost complete. I anticipate actionable results very soon. So you have set for some time. Excellent. If you believe I have misled you, you would be dust already. Thanks. Awesome, got a bunch of renown, reduction, nice. Alright, so this fleet is not needed here. But no invasions coming in. The major invasions are taking place over here and over here. I'll turn you into an anti tyranid Wait, what? Oh, it's just chaos. Uh, yeah, we'll turn you into an anti tyranid force, so I'm going to actually redeploy you guys over to this position over here so we can finally seal off this position gonna be some turns until we can get over there, but we need to start taking out these in large invasions. I think I'll have your force get ready to deal with the the orc threat coming in. And we'll deal with you in some other fashion. Yeah, so we'll redeploy you guys all the way over there. So send you here. I do like the no the, the Dormant Gates, because they actually make mobility across multiple... Actually, before I go any further, let me just um, quick save. Just because of the fact that... This... yeah, I, I'm, I'm scared that this is going to crash again. I mean, it's not a hard crash like before, it's more of just a... Hey, um, you know whatever you're doing? You're not doing it anymore. And it really sucks because... It does feel tailweb to go and play through levels over and over again. Sections of the game at least. Um, let's go ahead and do this actually so we can keep our mobility up. I do want to find this planet over here so we can get the Sematomic Fire. I don't know what that is but I really want it. Alright, well, how are you dealing with the Imperial Force? Um... Okay, I'll give you some backup to it. Actually, it seems that he's camping out over there because of the fact that he doesn't have enough turns to get all the way over to the target zone. One turn, so I guess this fleet can help you out, I suppose. No, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to send you against the Eldar by yourselves. That's just the reality of the situation. This fleet is just fighting against every single Chaos Flotilla. It's really ridiculous. Why don't I just sally forth and deal with them? I think I have. It's risky because we don't have the actual reinforcements. We only have a... What is it? Six? Uh, yeah, we don't even have enough forces to take advantage of the entirety of... We could get a battle cruiser in this formation. Tell you what, we'll wait another turn. We'll get a battle cruiser there. I think that would be a little helpful. You guys can just move on to this position. Um, we laid all these points, right? All right. Yeah, because we're just gonna get, finish off the orcs, then we'll go ahead and do. We might go and do the tail mission before we take on the phalanx, just because that just annihilates so much of the the threats we have to deal with. Because it's it's not fun having to fight on too many fronts or so. Plus, what is it? Actually, I think you guys should be fine. Let me send more ships your way, actually. Because we do actually have a good shipyard here. Can we fit in you? Nothing much. What can we fit in you? 400. Might turn you into my battle cruiser formation probably, but when we get more money I suppose. Um, what is it? What, is this something like I could like upgrade that would actually help me out? I feel like we're gonna have to deal with Resistance quite a bit, so I'll just put points into that. All right, let's do it. Yeah, 
Here we go. So this force is absolutely going to get mauled. I could just hide behind my turret, but I could probably just sally forth and just destroy them outright. Just because we do have a 400 point advantage on them, regardless of the turrets or not. In fact, it was really just an accident that my battleship happened to be here. Uh, it's just heading back, and it just happened to be here you know, at the right time. So It's not like I'm just going to tell them to sit on the side. Might as well just use them. what they have. Oh, just pathetic escorts. That's fun. This is so main fleet. Oh, they have played Nova Cannons. Oh, they also have a battle plan as well. Uh, your, your entire existence is centered around getting killed, so I... I'm sorry, but I'm probably not going to shed a tear. Yo, go after the Admiral ship. Oh, you... Seems like this is actually a large force. Take that back. <laughs> you don't need it anymore. It happened to have more ships than I thought. I think it had at least like four or five normal cruisers, two light cruisers, a battle cruiser. No, I thought it was only a thousand point fleet. That was odd. Did I get faulty results? Yeah, only a thousand ships, but still packed a lot of firepower in there. Okay, I guess most of them were Luna. Okay, so it's just three cruisers. In the battle cruiser. I felt like a lot more. Interesting. Oh, really? The orcs want to join in on this? Excellence. I have divined the location of the Terranid noble beast. This ancient one should be eliminated with pace. At last. Transfer the coordinates to my tomb ship. I will lead the assault in person. Your example brings honor to the Nebiru Well, alright. So we have the information on where the... the Tyranid position is. We'll deal with that after we finish off the... 
the Orc Sylvia. As I am very anxious to put these Orcs down once and for all. That's one last threat I have to deal with. I don't think we've come across Spire yet. Yeah, we haven't come across Spire. I wonder what he's doing. And how he... What he thinks of the Necrons just sweeping over the entirety of... What is it? Of the, the sector of the Iron Tail? That's a lot of rocks. Um, what is it? I just what I wanted someone to store that meat from the fishes. Your eggs will do. Such enthusiasm for battle. It can only be because you lack the wit to understand consequence. Yeah, so this is the weaker force consisting of only the light cruisers, even light rocks. Not really that big of a concern. They don't have an admiral ship. Oh, that's the admiral ship. He's leading the way. That's stupid. Alright. There's a button where I can only like do one scan at a time. Just because that would be better. I'm just going to hold this position because I, I believe they come in from multiple sides. Especially if they start fighting one another. Of course they do. Oh, the closer they get, the worse it gets for them. My only target is going to be the Admiral Ship. Join the battle formation. Get the forward firing so we can keep our formation intact. I get you behind our line tools. Man, I hate locks. Alright, next formation's coming in. No locks, which is good. Target's gonna be the Admiral ship. We set the formation. Ah, uh, damn it, enemy torpedoes coming in. Uh, might be a little too late. Hopefully, they can destroy a good amount of them so we don't have to break formation. Yeah, they didn't do that much damage, that's okay. Yeah, just maintain the formation. The point about this... They all eat poorly. Oh, great. Like that, so they're not affected by the loss of their fellow comrades. Alright. You set the formation. On the march. You can take your time, it's gonna take them a while to get there anyway. Maybe we spread out a little bit, I guess. You deploy another squadron of fighters. So I probably would target on the Admiral ship. By the way, we just destroyed them too quickly. Yeah, these are like for the most part all elites. 
Alright, concentrate off my power on that ship. So good. I'm taking only minor troop damage. We haven't even lost an escort yet, which is nice. Oh, we did. My bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I guess I didn't notice my my escort get destroyed. I suppose. What is that that escort doing? It's like bugged out. Destroy the shields first. Fire on that ship first. Send the escorts in first to um, actually lots a good amount of firepower. Let me just fix that. So we're focusing on one target, we can set the reload stance. Destroy the weapons. Actually, destroy the deck. Okay, pull you back. Just to repair status. Off the last one. That's another ask what? Five pounds decreasing. the deck. Oh, 
Fly power is actually heavily affected by all this damage. Let the deck is down, just just kill the play weapons, destroy as many of the weapons as you can. Oh, that's got served its purpose. Don't have any more cannon fodder now. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Many people did we lose? We lost a lot. All right, let's finish this off before we lose any more. Oh shucks. Alright, well, my leader is now fleeing. We can win this. Here we go. Bloody coward. <laughs> Actually, I could have done a stall burst on it, on the uh, boarding craft coming in. And that would have saved him, but I can't do that in fast forward mode. Maybe I should hold myself back. I I, I really don't know. Alright, so let me ask what... We, we lost... Bloody... F f just four? Alright, call that a victory. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, the green skin threat that was masterfully disposed of. If I may say so. Such vigorous fellows. But even vigor fades when faced with eternity. A satisfactory outcome. Leaderless, the orcs will be no threat for some time to come. Perhaps I should set loose the flayed ones, just to be entirely certain. An admiral's suggestions are, see that it is done. Lovely. Alright, so what do we get? We got 2,000 for now, we got the upgrade point, we got the orc threat node, we got a new fleet, and we got hero renewal. Oh wait. What the X Prime? Oh, so you probably got sent over here. Oh, is this it? Oh, we got a battleship, nice. Oh, that's really good, I'll take that. Alright. Well, this was, uh... Quite a nice win for us. Alright, so with the orc threat gone, um, yeah, I think we'll do that. Just increase our mobility. Alright. Yeah, so with the orc threat gone, we're actually quite set in this sector. We just need to put down the remaining chaos forces that just keep on pouring in. Hmm. Alright. Set up an orbital platform and then I have you two go ahead and engage that, I suppose. I have to get you guys repaired first before we send you to any more operations. What else is on the agenda? This has to be held back, this has to be actually I could ah damn it. Oh well, alright. This is what happens when you have too many battle points, you use them regardless of whether or not you need to or not. Like, I could have just dealt with either one of these this turn. Oh, well. Um, what is it? This is where the, the tyranny threat is. Tell you what, we'll finally deal with this flotilla of tyranids coming in, and then we'll deal with this next turn. There's still going to be some time until we can get our Admiral down there. Uh, delay this. This is a little bit concerning, but this is coming in three turns. You can probably send a fleet to deal with that shortly. Um, yeah, this easily dealt with. Just need to get you guys repaired and with more troops. Oh, 
Goldeneye, and I think that is... Should be, yeah, what, what's the second... Oh, okay. Yeah, I think we should be fine on, on all fronts. Yeah, that should be okay. Alright, let's finish off this town head attack. Hmm. Now, this is much easier than the Imperial Campaign. I mean, for one, the game isn't crashing as much. But on the gameplay side, the Necrons are actually very effective Especially in larger numbers. All power to move. Moving. I serve your glory. There they are. They should only have one. Yeah, they only have one fleet. So they have one synapse ship. Another victory. Well, the Tionids are easy to deal with if you just know how they operate. I think the biggest problem when facing the Tionids is people don't realize that they are solely dependent on their lead ship, and when that lead ship just rapidly goes in and leads the way like an idiot, essentially, it just becomes much more easy to dispatch the entire fleet. Here we go. Wow, and we'll just even, despite me having my three fleets here <laughs> and a and auto platforms and a station, we'll just even. This is just like an even fight. That's that's crazy. Kill one of those ships? Send scouts everywhere. Lag there for a second. Alright. Oh, I just finished off that ship.
Alright, now we need to find the next synapse ship. Should have one more out there. Oh, there it is. So many bloody particles going all over the bloody place. Oh wow. Okay, so killed everyone on board that ship. I'm not gonna scuttle it, of course. Now, as long as you use your defense platforms and your star bases as walls against the Tyranid Onslaught coming in, you can hold out forever, essentially. At least until that wall breaks, essentially, because even shooting BB guns at a wall will eventually take it down over time if you have enough BB guns or BB pellets. Okay. So, what is it? This is just endless. They just keep on coming in, essentially. Alright, so we actually have enough points to deploy everyone. That just makes this all the more worse for the enemy. Actually, I think, didn't we have a light cruiser in this formation? I guess it got replaced by the... by the battle cruiser in terms of points, which I actually don't mind. That's just more firepower we can use. Alright. Got a lot of escorts coming in. Yeah, the Alpha Legion. Fun. I will just hit the front of the formation. Oh, he used it. Let's finish him off. Yeah, so this fleet just ceased to exist as soon as I could get his Admiral to use its his rallying ability because then I could just go out to the Admiral, destroy his deck, and then go ahead and just destroy his ship, which would then just make it so it's impossible for him to get morale to his entire force. Which worked out quite well.
I do like the morale system in the sense that it allows for you to defeat foes without having to eliminate them entirely. Please tell me they're not going to get another fleet. Oh, for pity's sake. I'm just going to have to go in there.